Network, sponsored by Brighter Side Roofing. The beautiful sunset is behind me here in downtown Augusta, and we're seeing pretty clear skies for the most part. Here's a look over the radar, increasing clouds for tomorrow off to the west. But up towards the north, they're still seeing some of those thunderstorms heading through the area. Luckily, that's not in our forecast here in the CSRA. And we're saying goodbye to all of that precipitation and heavy rain that came through yesterday. That was that cold front that made its way into the area. So we're going to be seeing some cooler temperatures even starting tonight. Now down towards the Gulf, we're starting to see a small low pressure system make its way into the area. This is going to increase cloud coverage for tomorrow and even through Friday. Luckily, not a lot of rain in the forecast, maybe a sprinkle or two here and there. Temperatures for right now into the 50s, 53 in Louisville, 54 up towards Edgefield and 53 in Millen for this evening. Dew points relatively dry for the most part. They are into the 40s and there is all of that orange where you can see all of that dry air in the area. Unfortunately, that jet stream is going to be coming up and interrupting our beautiful dry and sunny days ahead. So 37 for that low this evening, mostly clear skies, and it's going to remain pretty dry for the most part. It's going to be pretty chilly, so you may want to turn on the heaters for this evening. And even for tomorrow, a chilly Thanksgiving morning, 61 degrees, partly, partially cloudy skies, and increasing clouds, it's just going to remain cooler for the most part. Luckily, no rain up until about 11 p.m., maybe a 10% chance of some showers here and there. High pressure is starting to move in from the west, but that pesky low is going to be bringing us that cloud coverage heading into tomorrow and even Black Friday morning. Then we got our next cold front approaching from the north, and that's going to be coming in for the weekend. Now, this does have lots of storms behind it, but fortunately for us, we're going to be seeing pretty nice conditions because it's going to be fading out by the time it actually reaches the CSRA. But we are going to be seeing those cooler temperatures, which is a bonus heading into this holiday weekend. So that regional and more local future cast just increasing clouds up through Thursday. Then as we get into Thursday evening, maybe a pop up shower here or there. You can see that one little green spot over towards Wrightsville just a bit ago, and that's going to be maybe a misting in the area. But for the most part, rain chances remain very slim heading through the weekend. Sunday, we got that cold front heading in, so we're going to see some slight elevation in rain chances. Then as we head into Monday and Tuesday, it's going to dry on out once again, so it's going to be pretty pleasant conditions, especially with temperatures being into the 30s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. For the most part, the sun is here to stay. Sun and clouds are pretty much gonna be on and off throughout the weekend and even into the new week. 20% chance of showers for Sunday evening as that cold front approaches. Monday, maybe a remnant sh shower or two in the area. Temperatures in the 60s, so it's gonna remain nice and cool. But by Wednesday morning, 31 degrees. We may see some frost in the near, near future for next week. Trent?